Hello everyone, and welcome to a new My Pocket Galaxy video. So it's actually been a long time since we um, I made a My Pocket Galaxy video. So yeah, we are playing My Pocket Galaxy now. So we're going to go to my universe. So in this video, we are going to be recreating some things. Yeah. some of the solar systems or star systems like first we're going to do s like a star system that's near us um alpha centauri so there's alpha centauri a which is an orange dwarf star right here so we're gonna nah so yeah Alpha Centauri, that's what we're going to name it. Okay, so yeah, we have Alpha Centauri right here. And then show how they believe. So then we're gonna get, um. So yeah, we're gonna get Alpha Centauri B. So we're gonna make Alpha Centauri B orbit right here. Orbit. Um. This is so hard. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we have Alpha Centauri B, which I'm going to name it right now. That's not how you spell it. Um, I guess that would be, I guess that's nice. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we have Alpha Centauri B orbiting Alpha Centauri. Oh, wait, that says Alpha Centauri. Okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do Proxima Centauri. So let's see. So here's a um. trick. This is how to make a red dwarf. <laughs> so you. So yeah. Um. Um. I think this is enough. Hopefully, it won't attract Alpha Centauri. Um. B. So we have oh, our white dwarf right here. We call it Proxima Centauri. And then we're going to collide it with um, a red giant. That's a gigantic nebula. And yeah, hopefully this won't pull in Alpha Centauri B. Um, um, I think it is not. Oh, no. oh, wait, Alpha Centauri B is getting pulled by Alpha C by Proxima Centauri, which is all the way over there. How? Mm. 
Who cares? Because it's still orbiting um, Alpha Centauri. It's just that it's um, farther. And elliptical. Which is perfect. Yeah. So anyways, we are going to make Proxima B. Um, it's a pretty big planet. Okay, that's big enough. And then let's put it right here. Um, this is hard. Um, yeah, it might take a long time for this. I finally got. Proxima B. After five minutes. I couldn't what? even make it orbit. I just locked it. Oh, wait. It's getting life. Heat's on. What? I put it in the exact same place. Well, yeah. We have made the Proxima Centauri thing system. I'm gonna take a picture of that. A snapshot and a picture. And then a snapshot. Okay, I think I took it. Yep. So yeah, I have officially made the Proxima Centauri system. Well, since it's called my universe, <laughs> so yeah, now we are going to be making um the Sirius star system, which features a huge main sequence star. And a tiny white dwarf star. It's kind of massive. So yeah, we're gonna get um very very massive main sequence star. Put it right here. We'll call it Sirius A. This is the brightest star in the night sky. Uh, the this is the brightest star. Uh, this is the brightest star in the night sky. If you didn't know that. So we have Sirius A, and now it's time for Sirius B. So yeah, we're gonna get Sirius B. Um yeah, Sirius B. And we are going to name it Sirius B. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and then take a picture. Snapshot. Okay. Well, yeah, we have made the Sirius star system. So, um, now it is time for, um, I don't know. Like, what can what? I do? Um, yeah. What about we just try unlocking new planets or something? Did I not get it? What about we mess around with these planets? Like, what if Jupiter collided with all of the planets combined? Would Jupiter win or would all the planets combined win? Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna put down Jupiter.
Um, I'm not trying to change its velocity. What? So here is our Jupiter. It spins super fast. Not, no, faster than that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna get Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, and then Neptune. Should I have Pluto? I guess I should. Uh oh. Okay, they're gonna collide. <laughs> okay, they collided. Before the Saturn collides into the Jupiter, I'm gonna name it. All planets combine. Yes. All planets combine. <laughs> then I'm going to make Jupiter unlocked. Jupiter's movement. And we're going to see what's going to happen. <laughs> and Jupiter lost and Saturn won. Let's let it cool it down. Let's let it cool down. Wow, that is so hot. I'm gonna crash all the planets into it again. It's like basically crashing another Saturn into it. So, it was about... That is burning! It's like a hundred degrees Celsius or something. Nah, it gotta be higher than a hundred. Oh yeah! Jupiter lost, and all the planets besides Jupiter. So yeah, we're going to be trying to unlock the alien planet. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Actually, let's just mess around with wormholes again. So we just put a 5 billion wormholes here. <laughs> Okay, and with, and this time instead of putting um um regular planets, I'm gonna put a gas giant. Goodbye, gas giant. What? Okay, we're gonna get some more wormholes. Can it suck in a black hole? Nah, it can't. Yeah. <gasps> okay, we're putting more wormholes here. What? So we're going to put um, a gas giant right here. Okay. Uh, okay. How to grow your gas giant. Teleport a star. <laughs> it can. You know what that means? I 
are you ready for um, a lot of lag? Well, a lot of lag is going to come in three, two. Wait, first I have to take a picture. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Destroy a wormhole. Yep. There's no destroying sound. This looks like a universe. Mini universe. Um, sorry for not talking. <laughs> Here is Voyager 1. And the wormhole is right there. <laughs> yeah, let's speed this up. Oh wait, there's no other wormhole, so the satellite just passed through. Well, yeah, my game crashed while I was playing with wormholes. Well, in the next episode, we're gonna get the alien and desert planet. And, um... I am going to make a future of the solar system in my pocket galaxy so yeah i'll see you in the next video if you heard a really go that's lucas's device um yeah see you in the next video bye